Tyco Electronics manufactures a line of connectors called Pidge Terminals. They come in various shapes and sizes. Rings, flags, you name it. Here mounted on a foam board we can take a close look. They come in three colors. Red, blue, and yellow and are sometimes called RBY terminals. The different color is for different gauges of wire. Red is by far most common, covering 18 to 22 gauge wire. The terminal mounted at far right on this board has had the insulation cut away. Having the proper tool with pitch terminals is critical. You will notice with a more inexpensive tool, the shape of these crimps is not ideal. Here are the tools we'll need. First we need to strip our wire. We identify the opening on the die that matches the wire we work with, in this case 22. We load the wire into the stripper and set the appropriate length. You will learn this by experience. As you close it down, the insulator guillotine will grip. Next, the stripping die. Squeeze the tool, cycle it, and release. The wire is ready. The next step is to load the terminal into the terminal crimper. You have red, blue, and yellow openings as mentioned before. It's a cycle controlled tool. Squeeze it to open it. With slight pressure, hold the terminal in the dies firmly. Orient the terminal flat with the die. This is the ideal orientation. Now that the terminal is loaded, we can insert the wire. Notice that I check that the wire extends beyond the opposite end of the terminal. This is for inspection purposes. Cycle the tool and release. The terminal will typically remain lodged in the die. Notice the wire protruding from the opposite end. Also notice the shape of the wire insulation grip. It's important to check all features. Make sure the insulation wasn't stripped too far. If the wire doesn't protrude beyond the terminal end, you must reject the part. Gently remove it. Give it a five pound pull test or more for larger wires and now you're ready to install the part. Let's look closely at the dies and how they crimp the terminals. Make sure to match part numbers on die tooling with crimp frames and the terminals that you're crimping. There's two halves to the crimper. The left half in this image crimps the insulation side. The right half crimps the conductor side of the terminal. The second die is matching. Here's a close look at a ring terminal prior to crimping. Notice the outer plastic jacket. This terminal will be loaded into the red position on the die. Though the other die and crimp frame are missing, this will be its orientation. This should be helpful in positioning the terminal when you're working on your own project. Notice the alignment parallel with the dies. 
The amp tooling has a unique feature. That is that the ratcheting crimp frame can be used with a number of tooling dies. Here we're showing how to insert the pitch dies and tighten them into place. Hold a light tension on them as you tighten the screws. This makes sure that they're indexed properly.